Did you know that you can turn this Raspberry Pi into a portable wireless router that can actually make your internet connection stronger? Now, if you don't already know, a Raspberry Pi is a cheap little mini computer it's gonna run Linux on it, which Speedify works with, and you can actually get one for around 40 to $80, depending on the model, of course. In this video, we'll actually show you how you can take a couple of internet connections, put them together on a Raspberry Pi, and turn that Raspberry Pi into a portable wireless bonding router. It's super easy. All you'll need is a Raspberry Pi here with Speedify already installed, of course, and then you'll need two or more connections whether that's gonna be a Wi-Fi connection, mobile hotspot, hotspot on a smartphone, ethernet, tethered phone, however it is today, we are gonna be using this Wi-Fi dongle. And then we also have the ethernet connection that's plugged right into the, directly to the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, Speedify is running both of the internet connections here on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can see that the blue one here is actually the ethernet cord. And then the pink one is the Wi-Fi dongle. And they're running across both channels here to create one super bonded strong internet connection. Now, what we wanna do with that is we wanna take that internet connection and shoot it out of the Raspberry Pi so that other devices connect to it. Like maybe for example, a smartphone that doesn't have service to it. Start off by typing in this command so that we can configure the Speedify sharing options on the device. Now you'll see this is all of the Speedify sharing uh, configurations we can do. And what you wanna do is you actually wanna remove the little hash mark right in front of a few different things here. So enable share so that we can turn the sharing on, make sure that it says equals to one so that it's turned on. From there, we wanna um, take off the share interface hashtag. So we're deciding which of the interfaces we wanna share this newfound access point with. So we're gonna use the WLANO, which is the, um, the the Wi-Fi so we can shoot it out through Wi-Fi. And you wanna make sure that these ones right here are also deleted. That way we have the uh, username and the password for our newfound connection. Currently the user ID is Speedify AP and the password is password. Clearly you wanna change that. So I'm gonna change it to Speedify demo today as the username and for the password, you want a stronger one than password. Um, I'm just putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for demo reasons, but typically you would wanna put in a pretty strong password for there because this is the information you're gonna use to log in so that you can get the internet on your device. The rest of these you can configure if you need special like information, but we're just gonna keep it the way it is for today. Remember to double check that WLAN zero is the same share interface as it's gonna be down here for the Wi-Fi interface, that way that the share knows where to share it to, okay? So now that we have all of our configuration set, what we wanna do is we want to exit out of here. It's asking, do I wanna save it? I'm gonna hit Y and enter, so it's all saved. Next, you'll wanna restart the software, but before we do that, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button so that you can get all of our channel's how-tos and be notified weekly of our office hour live streams. Okay, let's give Speedify a little restart now. So all you gotta do is just type this code in here so that we can restart the software and all of our new configurations will be able to set and play. Now you may be wondering, is this secure? You don't want people hacking into your internet, especially when you're out in public moving around. So yes, rest assured, all of your traffic is automatically gonna be encrypted from end to end. The first time after running the software when enabling the sharing, it might take a little bit of time because Speedify is actually uh, installing all the packages that it needs to be able to configure the necessary changes. So you might have to restart it a couple times, maybe even restart your Raspberry Pi if you feel like it really didn't take effect. But after a good restart, we should still be able to see both of our connections here. But what's great about these connections is now they're going to be able to shoot out to another device that we can access to. So. If I were to connect right here, see the Wi-Fi, we're gonna scroll down and look for our new access point, which should be right below Jesus. It says Speedify Deep Demo. Click that. It's asking our password, which if you remember our super strong password was one, two, three, four, five, six, oop, six, seven, eight, join, bam. And now we're connected to the Speedify access point. What's great about this is it's gonna be fully encrypted from end to end as well. So that all of your data is going to be secure and safe. Overall, now we should have a fully functioning router that's constantly switching back and forth between these internet connections to utilize that strongest connection that's available to us. 
It's pumping out that connection for stable speeds wherever you need it most, like we needed on this new cell phone here that didn't have any service on it. We're now connected, ready to go with super high speeds using both these connections. Now that you guys understand how you can turn your Raspberry Pi into a bonding router, make sure that you check out our next video about Speedify's pair and share because you can also wirelessly bond your mobile devices with each other and the Raspberry Pi now to boost all of the connections across the board.